last episode, I gave an example of, um, I introduced uh, virtual cameras, which gave us the ability to okay, go to the game view. The camera could follow the character around and then do panning, sweeping shots. What I want to do this time though is I want to start getting a bit of emotion onto this character. And I'm going to describe how I'm achieving that at the moment. So I'm going to make her a bit angry and I want her looking down at the ground rather than looking at the camera just to um, reinforce the emotion. So what you can do is um, I'm going to layer on these different animation clips. So if I right click on Helen, I can pick Add Override Track. And I get this extra track down here called Override. And what I'm going to do is I've built up a collection of animation clips. I need to build more of them, but I'm going to have one where I've got a face animation and I've got an angry animation. I'm going to drop that down here, and extend it out for the full clip. And so now she looks a bit angry as she's walking along, but she's still looking straight ahead. Well, um, you can click on rename on this, and so I'm going to call this expressions. Now, if you play it, you might notice she doesn't seem to be moving anymore. And I'll be completely honest, in this particular case, I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, and the reason is, is this um, animation clip is not actually a humanoid anima an animation clip. Um, but there is a fairly easy solution to it. If you click on it, you can apply an animation, uh, an avatar mask, and I'm going to say it's um, head only. By doing that, that expression mask only modifies the head. Now, I'm going to right click and I'm going to add another override track. And I'm going to call this one Head Turns. And what I've done is I've um, got some head animations. And so I'm going to tilt head, uh, uh, read the names there. I went down left. So I'm going to look down to the left for a little bit. And we're going to do down to the right for a bit. And we're going to do down to the left a bit more. And then eventually we're going to turn straight back up your head. Now, these animation clips um, I'm going to overlap them so they blend between them a bit. Just sort of what you can see, I'm just dragging them out and making them overlap a little bit. And the effect is heads turning and end up looking forward. So sort of hit the play to get the, the, the normal sort of speed. And again, if I click on it, I can come over here and I'm going to pick an avatar mask called head only. Now these masks are set up previously. Uh, if you bring it up in the humanoid, you can actually pick what part of the button will be enabled. So when I say head only, it really does mean the head. It's the head, the arms, the body, uh, and different points. And so um, you've got a number of different masks defined uh, for the different sets of parts. And then by doing that, character will move, still move, so this animation clip can only modify the head of the character and the two of them work together. Now, I actually think it's uh, getting happy too quickly, so I'm just going to extend that one out a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to add another one because um, I'm going to add another override track. And this one I'm going to say is left hand. And you'll never guess what the other override track is going to be. It's going to be right hand. And so the left hand one, I'm going to pick a left hand mask. The right hand one, I'm going to pick a right hand mask. And for my left hand, I'm going to go to my hands animation. I've got a left hand fist just to reinforce the emotion. And extend that out just to the full length. 
And right hand, I'm going to grab my right hand fist. Oh, guys, there's not much space down here, sorry. Oh, what can we do? Funny. Uh, I've got the screen resolution wound right down in order to make these screen recordings. And so, you might say, okay, well, I can't actually see a fist. Because we've got a close-up of the face. So what I'm going to do, uh, for the fun of it, I'm going to take this um, virtual camera two instead of panning out like what I did before. I'm actually going to make it. Um, I'm going to make it follow. And by using the root, it's the root is down by the feet, so it's going to look move towards looking at the feet. Um, the body is going to transpose, which means it's going to follow, and I think it was, oh, I think it was two meters I had in front, and it's going to look at the body, but uh, I don't want to go right down to the ground, so I'm going to go 20 centimeters off the ground. And so that was for camera two, and so it should stop about 20 centimeters above the ground, but it should look down the feet, and with a nice big over that there, uh, what I'm hoping will happen is you get this effect and then you get to see the fists all the way down to the ground. And so if we hit play, she's looking around the place, she doesn't look very happy. And you get to see the fists uh, as it goes down to looking at the feet. Um, the other thing you can do is there's a little triangle here so you can collapse it so you can get them all um, together so it doesn't have to use up so much space. But you can see how you can start layering these different um, expressions and so forth together to get your final result. So you've got head turns and um, I'm going to start building up a bigger set of different sorts of uh, facial expressions based on all the blend shapes. Um, so, for example, the um, head turns, we'll double click on one. Uh, yes, these are, are actually, I'm using a tool that's actually generated all of the animation ones. It seems to be the way that um, uh, humanoid clips work is they just tend to output all of the humanoid properties. I'm actually using a tool called um, Umotion Clip Editor in Unity, which is pretty good, um, but it generates all of them for the humanoid characters. And then you use the animation masks to prune out what you don't want. That just seems to be how um, humanoid animations work. Even if you don't specify something, they, they seem to kick in anyway. Um, Yes, and the masks was the other thing. So you add these override ladders, you add the masks, and then these um, clips can be controlled what part of the character they control, what part they don't.